All right. Um, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Uh, all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders, great millstone that do rule exceptionally well, and also shallow warm. Uh, salutations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers that's out there pushing this word of truth and faith. Uh, my name is Tabo Ah, mouth of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, I want to do a scripture. I'm sorry, I want to do a lesson uh, that's going to be based loosely around this scripture. Um, so, like, yeah, there's people all around. Uh, Matthew, uh, the, the seventh chapter, uh, verse. Uh, around verse 23 actually I should start up a little bit before verse 23 and I want this to be basically um, uh, uh, referring to these people that call themselves quote-unquote Christians or even some of these people that are um, aware that they are Israelites but you know as far as um, actually serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or getting down with the program of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai they kind of shy away from it um, or they lead people astray from it, you know, which isn't right. And we, we understand that that's not right according to the scriptures, but I want to kind of, uh, jump into this. So, uh, Matthew chapter seven, uh, starting at verse 21, it says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven, many shall say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, uh, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. All right? And that's that's going to be the case for a lot of people, man. A lot more people uh, than you may be um, uh, expecting. All right? A lot of people are going to have that rude awakening because they're taking this truth as a, um, they're taking it lightly, man. They're taking it as a game. Uh, they're thinking that this is some type of uh, facade, something that they can play around with, when that's not the case, man. This is a, a this is truly a a life and death um, uh, work, you know, a life and death um, uh, occupation right here, man. All right, and playing around with it, uh, you know, the apostles they constantly speak about all those uh, that have put their hands to the plow and, and looked back. You know, Apostle Tahar got a new series going, uh, the Rusty uh, Plow Award. And whom it may go to, and man, this is examples of dudes that that think that because they put in a little bit of time, that that's enough, man. That you know they put in a little bit of time, maybe a couple years ago, uh, and then you know for the last few years or whatever, even if it was the last few months, they've been doing nothing. You know, they've just been sitting around, um, uh, you know, enjoying their life as a Babylonian uh, citizen, and and. Man, that's not going to be enough, man. Yahweh Shai is going to tell them in that day when, when you know, sincere brothers are being beamed up and they're sitting here uh, facing uh, facing that wall of fire, you know, that's uh, prophesied to come down, you know, to, to spread across this land. They're going to be sitting there and they're going to be like, Yahweh Shai, like, you know, they're going to be uh, with that puzzled look in their, in their face, man. Like, Yahweh Shai, what's, what's going on? Why, you know what I'm saying? What's up? You gonna save me or what? And he's gonna be like, man, hey, like, who are you? You know, that's basically uh, uh, what Yahweh Shai is saying right here. He said, um, he says uh, in verse 22, it says, many shall say to me in that day, and that day he's speaking about is that, the, you know, the day of the Lord, that day of destruction, that day of great terror, man. It says, many shall say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Because you got some men that know the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. There's groups out there that are teaching the name, man. But they also teach some wayward uh, doctrine, you know. They also teach some things that are not scriptural, okay. So it says, many shall say in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, you know. So even in that name, you know, they was able to, to hey, they was able to do some stuff, Right. It says, and I will profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which builded his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And that's what you have with this, uh, with Great Millstone, man. The water to Yehovah Shimei Shai for revealing this unto the apostles and the elders, and the water to the apostles and elders for revealing this unto us, man. Okay, just like when Paul said, "Be ye followers of me, as I am of Yehovah Shai." Hey, we're followers of the correct men, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, as they are followers of Yehovah Shai, man. All right, 
because this is this is that that uh that rock that we're able to build our foundation upon, man. All right, with this 100% truth, you don't get any um you don't get any 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 back doors, all right? You don't get any side deals. There's no withholding of information. You know, it's all out there. It's all broken down and you know what I'm saying, it's expected of us to to continue to carry that torch. All right? Not to um light that candle and hide it under a bushel. Cause y'all was trying to say that's not you don't you don't do that you know he said if you light that candle you put it on you put it on the candlestick man so that all that's in the house can see the light all right not that it can be you know hidden and that's what we do here at Great Millstone now these other groups they like to hide their light man but that's okay because when Yahushua comes back he's gonna say depart from me you that work iniquity all right hiding the light not charging people for breakdowns man. That that's it's not cool. It's not it's not something that's gonna uh, help you get onto that chariot ship, man. Because you're not trying to help others. All right, you're not trying to help others to uh, uh, to better themselves. You know, and like it's been said time and time again, this truth is actually about you know being a. It's a, it's more about being a servant than it is about you being you know some big bad uh, boss type person, man. All right. Um, I wanna grab uh. What do I want to grab? I want to grab another scripture. I want to grab um, uh, John chapter 16. Because people get mad, man. People get mad when when we bring out these scriptures, man. When we um, say that we got the truth and we bring out these scriptures, these other Israelite groups, they get, they get upset, you know, and rightfully so. These uh, Christian groups, they get upset and rightfully so, all right? Because we're proving to them that we know what we're talking about and that we actually believe in these scriptures. And because they don't have that same faith, they don't they can't, you know, uh, uh, they can't bring forth that that same saying with absolute, you know, uh, sincerity of heart. And they get upset, man. This is John chapter 16. Um, this is uh, John chapter 16, verse one. It says, these things have I spoken unto you that ye should not be offended. Uh, they shall put you out of the synagogues. Yeah, the time cometh. That whosoever killeth you would think that he doeth the most high service. And that time's coming upon us, man. All right, you already got it where these people are thinking that they do the most high service by slandering us. All right, constantly bringing up uh, uh, things that, that we've already went into the scriptures and just showed them plainly in the scriptures where uh, what the scriptures have to say about it, man. Things in the law. All right, think of the things about how you, uh, how, how you can treat a woman. All right, about what age a woman becomes a woman, you know. According to this, according to the scripture, according to the word of the heavenly father, which people like to say that they know the Bible and that they, they believe in the Bible. But when you bring up some of these topics, they, they're all they, they get offended by it, man. And it says right here that he, he uh, I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. All right. So you, there's nothing in this word that's supposed to offend you, man. You're supposed to be uh, working towards a perfect mindset which the perfect mindset is going to be geared towards these scriptures. It's not going to be geared towards some westernized uh, mentality that's, that's relatively new upon the earth, all right? Just because you was born in America and America says that, you know, the age is, is 18 or 21 or, or so on and what have you, hey, well, the scriptures don't say that, man, all right? The scriptures, nowhere in the scriptures does it say that you got to be 18 years of old, uh, years of age to be considered a man, all right? Nowhere in the scriptures does it say anything like that, man. You know, so uh, uh, people get upset because they don't actually understand the scriptures. They don't read it. They don't go into it. And they don't. They don't believe in the scriptures. So they get they get upset about these things, man. Okay, it says they shall put you out of the synagogues. Yeah, they, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you think that they do with the most high service. And these things, they uh, these things will they do unto you because they have not known the father nor me so these people these people that really get upset that that you know get like like blood boiling uh angry you know these edomites that's out there these um these so-called christians that's out there all right these other israelite groups that's out there that really get pissed off about the fact that we're bringing out these scriptures all right and we're bringing them out uh uh with fullness of what they say without sugarcoating it Th those people hey they're doing that because they don't they don't know Yahweh Shai. They don't know the Heavenly Father Yahweh. All right. They don't understand these scriptures. They're not really down uh, with this program, you know. Which I mean, that's fine. Not everybody's going to get it. But if you're not down with the program, you can't be crying to Yahweh Shai, saying "Lord, Lord" in that day, man, because he's going to say, "Get the hell away from me, you worker of iniquity." All right. And it's and it's just that simple. Okay. It's just that simple. Um, moving on, I want to grab. Uh, 
let me grab this crow is crazy <laughs> crow just flew in the car flew off uh i want to go to second ezra real fast all right uh second ezra because you got to realize that times is really about to get rough man so I, I like going into these scriptures uh second ezra chapter 16 um we'll start at around uh verse 17 i believe all right uh because man hey times is about to get real bad man and then and when these times is bad when these times is bad, you can't decide that that's the time that you want to turn to the Lord. You got to get yourself right right now while you have that liberty, man. All right. As the scriptures say, while you have while you had yet liberty, that's the time that you're supposed to be uh, getting yourself together, man. All right. You're not supposed to wait to the very last moment. You ain't supposed to wait till Esau's already at your door, busting it in for you to decide that you want to get right with your All right. That you want that protection. Nah, man. Is that, that that's far too late. All right. That's far too late. This is a uh, second Ezra chapter 16, starting at verse 17. It says, woe is me. Woe is me. Who shall deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? All right. Which the only thing you can do when those evils come is is actually the only thing we can do as Israelites is cry to the Heavenly Father, man. That's the only thing we could do, man, is try to plead our case to the most high power, Yahweh. All right. Which he's only going to listen to those that, that are that are, you know, seeking after him. Those that are actually seeking a, a righteous uh, um, uh, style of living, actually uh, seeking to be servants unto his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for uh, amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor uh, be always mindful of the scourges. So that's that's a, that's what's happening, man. People are not turning from their wickedness, even though there's evils that's going on on the earth. Uh, there's a lot of wars going on. There's a lot of death happening. All right. The Most High is really starting to starting to uh, turn the heat up and, and judge this place, and people aren't really um, they're not taking that to heart, man. These Christians that's out there, these false Israelite groups that's out there, all right, these two thirds, they're not really um, uh, taking it to heart, all right. And even as times get uh, worse, they're not really going to take it to heart. Okay, it says, "Behold, uh, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth." That they shall think themselves to be in good case, and that's you got you got a situation of that already playing out, man. People being distracted with this technology and these sports and this this fake food and uh, what have you, man. There's I mean there's there's a big list out there of things that's distracting the people away from uh, following after the heavenly Father. It says, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And pff, boy, that great confusion, man. You can't you can't even emphasize that enough about the great confusion that's that's had um that's taken over this globe man especially this place that we call america which in the scriptures is commonly referred to as um as uh babylon the great the virgin daughter of babylon it says for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy and the dead shall be cast out as dung and there shall be no man to uh to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the cities shall be cast down. And uh, man, you people read this and you don't even take it to heart that these type of things is going to happen, man. Just like when you read uh, Second Peter, uh, the third chapter, that's, that states that knowing that this place is going to be burnt up, what manner of person I you to be? You know, we're supposed to be actually moved with fear to um uh, to do the right the right thing, man. All right. Moved with fear to actually go and seek after the heavenly father, you know, seeking that mercy. And a lot of our people aren't doing that, man. Instead, they're looking for ways to try to um, to try to sully the name of uh, Great Millstone, man. You know, they're looking for ways to tear down the prophets rather than looking for uh, an opportunity to uh, help the prophets, man. And, hey, that's OK, because, you know, our faith is all in, in Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, and he's the one that's going to be the one handing out judgment tickets, man. You know, hey, but pretty much that was the point, man. Lord willing, this has been um, edifying and Lord willing, this message has been received. Uh, so, again, the, the praise and the glory, it goes on to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Let's say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of his Son and in the name of the Spirit, of the Holy Spirit. 
All right, and also, um, uh, shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to you, sincere brothers that's out there, and double honors on to the apostles and the elders that that you know continually feed the flock, man. The water uh, to you, how about Shimia Shah that we have you? All right. So until next time, I'm gonna say shalom.